Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials by clicking on the subscribe button and do remember to click on the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. Welcome to another video and uh, in the comments of one of my installs and previews one, the, one of the subscribers did mention how is dot os so guess what today's video is about that we are going to install and preview dot os on the xiaomi pocophone f1 and god this phone has a lot of custom roms and most of them are so stable that i'm really in love with this device even the stock rom when i review it you guys will like it so in today's video we install and preview dot os based on android pi the latest will and before we do that remember we have crossed 9,000 subscribers and once we cross 10,000 I will announce the winner of the giveaway and give away a Zenfone Max M2 so before we begin look at the description participate in the giveaway and stand a chance to win that phone at the same time here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos 390 go ahead and check that channel out as well now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to smartphone tutorials my name is Kalash let's install dot os on the Pocophone f1 Hey guys, welcome to another video and in today's video we are going to install the much requested dot OS on the Xiaomi Pocophone F1. Yes, this has been a champion for this channel because it has a lot of developer support, a lot of fan following, a lot of horsepower and at a very very good price. I'm really looking forward to the Pocophone F2 with the Snapdragon 855 and smaller notch. Yes, so for this video, well, let me tell you the basics before we actually get into the install procedure. First of all, you need to have more than 30% or 50% battery. Make sure all your data is backed up because your personal information is very, very important and nobody would be responsible for that loss. Apart from that, basic requirements like you need to have an unlocked bootloader which will then allow you to install a custom recovery like TWRP using which you can install a custom ROM. And of course, the ROM and Google Apps file, the link for this thread is mentioned in the description. For now, let's quickly boot into TWRP RP, this is not dot os this is bicycle os one of the different roms for which i've made a video already so let's go ahead and go to advanced and go to recovery i love it when custom roms like these have a direct option to boot into recovery so that you don't have to press uh, volume up in power so yeah if you are not on a custom rom and you want to know how to boot into twrp well press volume and power up till the time the poco logo shows up and the moment you see that logo just release the buttons so now that we are in the twrp recovery swipe advanced wipe delvic cache system data swipe to wipe okay so go to install select dot os add more zips and open g apps and swipe to confirm flash now as i say it in all of my install and preview videos this flash is flashing two files and it will take anywhere between two to five minutes so please be patient and wait for the flash to complete and once it is flashed we can reboot into system meanwhile let me also give you a little background on dot os this is a rom which has a lot of customization like cr droid and eosp extended resurrection remix and a few other roms so the way the customization menu is laid out in this particular rom is something i really really like and that is the reason i'm looking forward to you know doing an install and preview uh, what i would also request you guys to do is in the comment section down below let me know what all roms do you want me to review because uh, there are a lot of roms that are stable you know for this device and uh, it gets really difficult to use one rom for three to four days and then review it and stuff but i will do it nonetheless in a detailed manner so i will put up a poll on community as well for now let's wait for the rom and g apps to be flashed and then we'll have a first look at dot os on the pocophone f1 okay as you can see the files have been flashed so what we will do is we'll go to wipe cache in dalvik swipe to wipe and reboot system now remember you might have to flash the vendor firmware as well if you are coming from a different or older miui rom okay that's the boot animation for dot os it is the new pi boot animation for dot os which i've seen for the first time and trust me as simple as it looks the colors and uh, the sort of oxygen os type of a boot animation is something i really really like and it's getting interesting already let's wait for the rom to boot up and let's see what all does this rom have okay so there we have 
have it we are on the home screen and it says align the dots and a very very smooth initial experience i just finished uh, making a video on bikel os and uh, you know with all due respect to all the developers it already feels smoother and faster and what do we have here okay so that's a welcome addition we have gcam pre-installed in dot os and then as you can see that broad smile on my face it clearly signifies how important it is to already have gcam installed and stuff so yeah it'll be a lot of fun reviewing this rom but from the first looks of it it looks really really nice a very very clean android pie experience basically a aosp experience and even if you go to the app drawer uh, you have browser contacts and a lot of themed stuff over here basically which looks a little funky compared to lineage os or some other roms if you go to this here which says dot paper it's basically or dot papers it's basically wallpapers of dot os and these are really really uh, nice wallpapers is what i can say for example this one so yeah that gives it a very very personalized look now let's turn bluetooth off let's turn wi-fi off um let's go to settings here there you have it so this is what i like about dot os if you look at these icons over here they are customized in a very very nice way and although it follows the guidelines of android pie you do see that you know uh, the settings for that matter is written in big so all these small small changes they really make this rom stand out and feel different at least aesthetically at the same time if you go to the customization menu which is dot extras this is something i had liked on the oneplus 5 as well when i had installed this particular rom the way they have laid out their customization menu is very very professional it feels like a finished product and it gives it a very very complete look for example if you go to status bar you have status bar customizations and then if you go to navigation bar you can customize the navigation bar and gestures apart from that you have quick settings recent lock screen and if you go to system you have button customization as well at the same time let's quickly go to about now of course the android version is android 9 pi full detail of dot is droid on time it even this has a security update of february maybe in the next build they will go ahead and update it to the latest version and as you can see that's your standard android pi easter egg but overall from the first experience it feels pretty pretty good we have a very very stockish launcher not much going around here at the same time a lot of things are happening as well so from the first look yes it looks really good although the voice over lte icon is there but a usual thing that we always test is basic calls using voice over lte are they working or not they are so voice over lte is working we have gcam installed so um let's actually try to capture a portrait using the front camera okay oh yes so the portrait mode works just fine now you can see the fan is blurred out so yeah gcam pre-installed a custom rom with the latest android version and a lot of fluidity and speed what else would you want in a custom rom so there you have it guys this is a quick install and first look at the amazing dot os for pocophone f1 from the first impressions yes this would be a high recommendation from me that you can give it a try but until the next one this is kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials keep smiling take care goodbye as I fall